What's up y'all? I'm Matt Swigum and welcome to my channel, Salty Swigs. Out here on the kayak today, doing a little fishing. This is your first time here. Um, like I said, I'm Matt Swigum and uh, I do saltwater fishing on the Alabama Gulf Coast area and surrounding tributaries and estuaries and all of that. So, if you like that kind of stuff, then go ahead and smash the like button. Please consider subscribing. And we're gonna be throwing artificials today, as usual. So, y'all stick around, let's get after it. Stop water time. That's what time it is. All right, so I'm throwing a custom she dog Miradine uh, lure top water bait and um, it's one of my favorites well it is my favorite Ooh, just had a blow up And so with these topwater baits, you just want to walk the dog. So you throw slack back into your line and then keep bumping it like this. And that'll take that bait and twitch it back and forth. And that's called walking the dog. And you just kind of maintain a pace there. And I try to work pauses in. Um, sometimes you'll get hits. Ooh, on the pause like that. Just like that, baby. <laughs> <laughs> As I was talking to y'all, put the paws out there. Oh my gosh. That's a nice trout. Probably gonna lose it. Barely hooked. in there. Let's go, baby. <laughs> nice fish. Nice fish. Now that's what we came for. Look at her. Look at her. three pound trout she is 20 and a half <laughs> later big girl Let's go, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good fish. That's a, that may be a red fish. No, 
Nope, probably a trout. Oh yeah. Not a huge one, but a nice little 18, 19. <laughs> baby. Nice. Just get to show her to y'all real quick. There she is. Beautiful. She's uh probably right at 18. Thank you. Not the most graceful release I've ever had. But we're on some quality trout on top water. And that's all that matters. Gotta love treble hooks and a net. Gotta love it. I think it's everyone's favorite thing pretty much about using treble hooks is getting to net the fish with it. It's so cool. Because you never know when you're going to lose another one. So, like I said earlier, I've been throwing the she dog today. This is a custom um, paint job. It's just purple with silver flake. It's made by um, Cricket Lures, I think. I'll link him down below. I, I'm sorry, I can't remember his name uh, on Instagram, but uh, he makes these lures and stuff. They've got their own website, and they're really nice they're epoxy coated or something and, uh, so that paint job will stay for a long time and I'm throwing it on um, 20 pound mono leader it's about six feet of leader I like longer leaders uh, especially mono because you get a little stretch so that gives me a little play especially when using treble hooks I think that's beneficial um, to have that little bit of rubber band action um, to try to keep those hooks buried um, just in case you get slack in your line for any reason if that fish is running at you something like that I think that's beneficial to have that um, bungee effect that is created by mono now fluorocarbon does have some stretch um, but it's nowhere near what mono has I think mono is over 20% maybe um, something like that so then six foot leader um, down to 15 pound uh, this is Berkeley 9x braid and I've got this on my um, Shimano Metanium this is the DC that's the digi digitally controlled um, motor in here so it will uh, put the braking on for you in a way um, it's not foolproof or anything, but it'll break uh, your bait caster for you, and um, it is really nice. Uh, it's hard to beat a metanium, and especially in the DC version, I like them a lot. And this is on, of course, you know, right there, the TFO. Um, this is the new one that they have. This is the Resolve Bass 7 foot medium action, and it's rated for a quarter to three eighths of an ounce nice rod and um, I've been liking it so far for my heavier baits like topwater and um, slick lure
All right. Well, <clears throat> I was ha I'm happy with that top water bite. So, I'm putting lures on. Well, I'm putting soft plastics on. Gonna start out with the down south lure in the plum color. Well, it's a fish. I think it's a trout. No, it's even worse. Even worse, like a trout would be bad. It's worse. It's just bad. That is a lizard fish. It is not what I want. Look at them chompers. That's a lizard fish. I guess you can eat them. We can get this guy tagged. Nice little red fish. Going home. Four spots. Come on, y'all. Can we find a flounder or not? Or are we just going to get all the other species? So you can do recreational tagging in the state of Alabama. If you go to a class, they will give you a little kit like this. And it'll come with your tagging dart like that. That is basically like a large hypodermic needle. And then you'll get sets of tags that are for different species. And they have a number on them and everything. And what you do is you just slide that into your dart. Just like that. And that sticks into the fish. And then once it goes in. Sorry. So you put it into the fish like that. And once it goes in, that barb holds on that fish. And then we report that data to uh, Tag Alabama. And I use an app called the Fishing Chaos app. And you can log your fish on there and put the tag ID and all the info um, about that fish. And then that gets sent off to CCA Alabama and they log all that data. And then if your fish gets recaptured, any of the fish get recaptured, you get set a recapture uh, data report. So that's pretty cool. I have not got one yet. I have tagged um, 50 trout and about, I don't know, probably 20 redfish or so, so far this year. So that's just this year.
Wow. That was a big jump, homie. Man, I hope the camera got that. Look at that. On the uh, fish bites, dirty boxer, probably 16, 17. We're gonna let this guy go. I figured there was going to be some trout sitting at this little uh, creek mouth here. The water's flowing pretty good around this point. And then there's some bait splashing over here. A lot of structure. So, you can pretty much bet if you're in an area like that, that there's some fish around. So, I didn't tell y'all. Um, the combo I'm using still 20 pound liter six foot mono and uh, this is a 10 pound uh, Berkeley 9x braid and this is on my Daiwa Zillion SVTW uh, this is the 8.5 gear ratio really liking this reel and it's on you know the TFO tactical elite bass this is the um, 610 moderate action um, medium weight I don't think that's a trout Oh my gosh, it's the one. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Whew. That's what we were looking for. <laughs> All right. Well, I just had to go to this corner and catch a slam in one corner. God, man, that's crazy. Choked it. That's a nice one. Three pounder. Oh, look at that beauty. Well, we got the slam. Oh, look at <laughs> it's coming out the gill plate. Nice. This one's coming home, I think, because uh, I got a quail fry slash peanut boil and something like that to go to today. So I gotta get that done. So today I fished um, a minor this morning. And if you're not aware of majors and minors and uh, so lunar tables and stuff, um, you should definitely look that up and just do a little digging into it. It's a really interesting. Um, way to kind of analyze uh, the fish that you're catching throughout the day and when you're catching them and maybe why you're catching them um, at those times. So like I said, I fished a minor today and um, that is when I did catch the quality trout. Um, I got on that top water bite and um, got that 20 and a half and uh, then that 18, 17. So, you know, there, there is something to say about fishing majors and minors. I, I, I swear by it, but um, check it out. I'll, I'll try to link something down in the description about it. Um, but I think it's something important to mention. And um, 
basically what I was doing is high tide was at 2 in the morning 2 15 something like that so um, the miner was shortly after that as soon as that tide starts falling is basically when that miner started which was about 3 15 3 30 something like that and um, it ended just after 6 30 well I landed that um, big tw over 20 and uh, right at 6 25 or something like that so right around there landed that big trout and um, goes to show pay a little attention do do some um, research and then make a plan um, and try to fish that minor or a moon set or, or a major or something like that or a change in the tides and um, I think you may be surprised at the production and possibly the quality of fish that you catch so y'all go check it out well y'all got the slam made it happen you know if you haven't already please smash that like button down below hope you enjoyed this video throwing artificials for an inshore saltwater slam yeah baby so like i said like subscribe all that good stuff hope you enjoyed it and until next time y'all stay safe